Barnes back to work. Strike to the outside corner. 0-1. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Man at second. Late with the swing there. Just missing there. And the count is even, two and two. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. And it drops in. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. It's four to three. No outs. Runner at first. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Just missed. One run across in the frame so far here in extra innings. Up and in, and it's two and one. One straight. At the belt and fires. And that just misses. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. Jeff McNeil, the next to hit. If you blink, you might miss it. And that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Two outs. Best ball for a strike. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights. That one 95 to finish him off. We're in extras here. And now for Washington, Lane Thomas. As the lefty gets to work. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Next to hit for the Nats, Jesse Winker. Over four, two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. And that one missing low. Next offering is in for a strike. With the tying run at third, winning run at the plate, and we're in the last half of the tenth. Two and one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Oh. Too low, and it's ball three. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, He's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. And it stays fair. In comes the runner from third. It's 4-4. Four four. Makes himself up an RBI. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals. Step off throw to first. Oh, he's in there. And he's back in safely. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. The winning run on second base. Up the middle. Lindor throws the first in time. He's out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, and kill some worms while you're at it. Garcia in the box now. Takes strike one. Winning run at third. Two down. On the ground, right side. McNeil. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Back now, 
We're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Jordan Weems. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. And he deals. All one, no strikes. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. That one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. And a pitch. There's a strike. Now two and one. Bounced out to short. Sends it across the first. And Bader is set down. Here's Francisco Lindor. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Right through there for a strike. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the One fastball, ball. and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. He's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around. Pulls the string of a changeup. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo, known for his late-inning heroics. And that's outside, and it's 1-0. Strike one. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Bounce to the right. In plenty of time to first, and the Mets go 1-2-3. And a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning. Number 72. So digging in, Joey Meneses. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. The pitch. There's a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. That's out to center field. He's got it. And there's one down. Now the catcher up to hit. Hebert Ruiz. First off, bringing it just misses. One ball, perfect. And that one is lifted in the air, sizing this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. Now the third baseman, Nick Senzel. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And that one is inside ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Man on second, two down. And another ball. Tied at four. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And that's too high. Okay. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. 
So two down. James Wood getting ready to hit. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. That one finds a corner. That's strike one. Oh, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. It was so tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Tosses the first, beats him to the bag, and that means we're playing 12. And we're back on to the 12th. Now it's the DH, J.D. Martinez. Weems back to work. There's a strike. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Next offering is down low. And the righty deals. And there's a strike. Good here at 98. Next pitch misses way outside. Right-hander kicks, deals. High fly ball down the left field line. That one carrying. Out of here. A gigantic blast. It's 6-4. Here's Pete Alonso. 0 for 4 with three strikeouts, and he's grounded out. Out in front with the swing, and that Come is strike on. one. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out. Here deep into extra innings. And now it's even up. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Ruiz drifts towards it. And a foul ball. In the air, left side. And that takes care of Alonzo. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little now bit right that. there. That That's front it. shoulder That's coming it. open instead of staying closed. Oh. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead oh. of a fly out to left. Alvarez at the plate and takes high there. Hey. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Good eye ball. right there. Two ball. One strike. Still only one out here in the inning. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Fights it off. He'll see another. 3-2 on the way. There's a swing and a drive. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. One down, base is empty. Line, and that's a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Hunter Harvey. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Harvey! Tyrone Taylor up now for the Mets. There's a strike. The 0 1. And a foul ball, third base side. Oh, and 2 now. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning.
bottom of the 12th inning now. Here's the shortstop at the plate, C.J. Abrams. The right-hander back to work. Fouled off. He was late. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. No ball. Be straight. Tying run at the plate. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and there's one away here in the 12th. Lane Thomas right digging in for the Nationals. Breaking ball inside. 1-0. And, and that misses off the outside edge. With the tying run at the plate, and we're deep into extras. Laced in the left, and this one could be extra bases. Wood headed for the plate. He scores 6 5 back within a run. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Nassim Nunez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. So the tying run at second. Strike one. One ball, one strike. And a count one and two. Lifted in the air down the left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Last chance for the Nets in this one. Number 30 digging in for the Nationals as the Nationals are down to their final out. Right down to shoot. Oh, and one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. If it gets a take, it's a head and a count. Down the line. And that will drop foul. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets finally put an end to this one in 12. 6-5 the final here today. A one-run extra inning 